Martha of Bethany When we hear about Martha in the Bible, it is often in a negative way. She was a sister of Mary who was so busy with meal preparations and homemaking duties that she wasn't focused on her guest, Jesus Christ. But Martha also displayed great faith in God as well. Martha is a sister of Mary and Lazarus. We find Martha mentioned in three places in the Bible. First, serving Jesus Christ at her home. Second, mourning the death of Lazarus. And third, serving Jesus Christ and others. Mourning the death of Lazarus. When Jesus Christ approached the town of Bethany, Martha ran out to meet him and said, Lord, if that has been here, my brother had no time. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. My brother shall rise again. I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection of the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Yeah, I know. I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which you come into the world. Martha's faith was rewarded after the death of Lazarus. Jesus Christ raised Lazarus from the dead. Tabitha, a seamstress well known and loved for her service to the poor and the needy. Many people mourned her death and the widows she had served. When Tabitha's loved ones found out that the Apostle Peter was staying in the nearby town, they asked him to come to them in their time of mourning. Rather than just comfort these people, Peter turned their sorrow to joy when he raised Tabitha from the dead, telling her, Arise! Word of Tabitha's renewed life spread, and because of it, many believe in the Savior. Tabitha left behind a legacy of love and service by helping those around her, especially the poor and the needy. In the scriptures, she is described as a woman full of good works and alms deeds. President Thomas S. Monson said, to me, the scriptural reference to Tabitha, which describes her as a woman full of good works and alms deeds, defines some of the fundamental responsibilities of Relief Society, namely the relief of suffering, the caring for the poor, and all which that implies. Mary Magdalene one of the Savior's most devoted disciples showed an enduring example of faithfulness. Mary was among several women who witnessed the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Following the Savior's death, Mary's insistence to remain at His side continued. She was there among those at the tomb as His body was laid to rest. The honor of being the first person to see the Savior as a glorified and resurrected being can't be overstated. His victory over that is the greatest event in human history, and it was Mary, humble and devoted to the very end, who was the very first to see the truth of it. Mary of Bethany Jesus Christ and some of his disciples went to Martha's home in Bethany to teach the gospel. Martha took the primary responsibility for responding as a gracious host, perhaps providing food and shelter for her guest, while her sister Mary sat at Jesus' feet and listened to him speak. Mary has chosen the better part which will not be taken away from her. The sisters' different approaches to serving the Master teach us to respect and honor those who manifest discipleship in different ways. Jesus' teachings in this story also show his perspective that women were free to choose how to serve and how to show discipleship.